Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Riverview, where, following on from last video, we have got a sewing contract on field 17 for Dolores to go and do. After ploughing that field, the farmer has turned round and offered us the chance to sow it, and it's not potatoes, it's canola, so win-win. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to do this contract for sowing the field for 40 grand. And then once we've sown it, we're going to buy it. <laughs> we're going to buy the field. So we're going to get paid for ploughing it and for reseeding it. So all in all, ladies and gents, it's going to work out rather well for Dolores. We're going to get a field. You know what works really well, Dolores? I know you're excited to be uh, doing this job, but that's two days in a, two days in a row now. You've got so excited about doing something that you've actually fucking not done the thing right. Yesterday you went and grabbed the fertilizer spreader instead of the plow because you were so excited you weren't paying attention. And today, you're seeding a field without dropping the seeder. Because <laughs> you're so excited about what you're doing. So yes, we're going to... We're going to... Uh, we're going to do the field. We're going to seed it. We're going to buy it. And... Uh, we're going to be very, very happy. Now, I'm going to do the headlands again like I did last time. When we did the ploughing. Because that seemed to work quite well with this field, I'll be honest. It seemed to work quite well. Everybody tilt! a steep embankment that right well what can else what else have i got to tell you right at the beginning of this video well uh you remember in the last video i was talking about a couple of new mods i'd added the dry corn mod and the um ammonia anhydrous mod and then I, I was looking at the anhydrous stuff and couldn't see any equipment in the game that could actually um deliver it to fields and spray it on fields and I said I was going to have a look into that and see what was going on well I went and checked out the mod page for the mod and it does state on the mod page that there's only about two items two pieces of equipment in the vanilla game um, that support the anhydrous however it will not show those in game. The the, the, the anhydrous symbol will not show up in game. So it's one of the cultivators, I believe. Um is it one of the cultivators? There was something that has the ability to see. A cultivator with the ability to seed or spray or fertilize or do something. And then the other piece of equipment was supposed to be the... I think it was the Garon, this thing which doesn't actually do herbicide spreading, but I think that was transporting. Or was it that one? Might have been that one. I can't remember now. But literally, there was two bits of equipment that the mod author had added the anhydrous to. However, it wouldn't actually tell you if you was looking at it in the store menu, because the symbol for the thing apparently doesn't appear. Because of how they've script how it, the mod has been scripted, 
and then apparently it only works then with other equipment that has certain special um specializations um which have to be adopted by mod authors and put into equipment to, that's going to be using the anhydrous so basically we'll translate all that into english um the mod doesn't actually support any equipment in the game nor any mods that are out for the game currently <laughs> um there's nothing that can actually spray the anhydrous with the way the mod author has coded the mod scripted the mod and built the mod it just doesn't work with anything it's not completely different from like the anhydrous on like that stevie has put into the elm 4x elm creek map where every single sprayer in the game can fill and use anhydrous and it shows it quite clearly in the store menu I guess the way Stevie's coded Anhydrous is a lot different to how this other fella has done it on the mod hub. And it seems like Stevie's way of coding it's much better. <laughs> this is just, just, just my feel. Um, so I've actually removed the Anhydrous mod. Because it's it, it, at the moment, to me, it seems completely pointless. Um, I don't see how I'm going to be able to... Um, do anything with it. I don't. Right, you can carry on seeding. Doing this lovely contract. Uh, what am I going to do in the meantime? Because back at the farm, I have got my own field 9 and 10 here seeded fertilized yada 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 blah de blah de blah that's all good seeded and fertilized fully fertilized obviously rolling hasn't been something that we've done uh, neither has mulching uh, the cows are all okay all our production stuff's okay. Uh, our cows have got plenty of foods. Gave them plenty of straw in the last episode. So they should be all okay for the time being. Uh, might give them another, a single trailer load of grass. Two trailer loads of grass. Uh, another TMR trailer load of hay. And then another TMR. Thing, that would just bump the food up hopefully to 100 percent yeah the uh cows are in production's fairly decent chickens are doing okay no eggs horses obviously riding very well they're up to 5.28 grand It'll be interesting to see how they carry on. Now I'm guessing then we've got some eggs over here. Well, getting manure already, look. That's good. Okay. Hmm. What do I want to do with the eggs? Tell them. When we've got loads. But at the moment, uh, it's not really... I don't think we need to worry too much about. I think we're going to feed the cows a bit more. Just turn off the yes. So I have to use this trailer first, of course, to do the grass because um, you can't put grass in a loading wagon, unfortunately, uh, which is a bit of a pity. And the reason I am supplying grass for any of you that are new here and haven't watched me before or haven't watched the last video 
is because on this map, the way I have it set up, the cows do eat all three items. You can't just give them TMR. That doesn't work. If you just give the cows TMR on this map, the way I have it set up, you will only get 45% production. You need to add the hay and the grass to get the additional production. Because they eat everything in parallel, much like the, um, um, the pigs, the way the pigs eat their food and the way the horses eat their food. They eat everything all in one go. So, a bit more grass. Now remember, we, you, we bought a load of bales in the last video. I think that's how we're pretty much going to be continuing um, going forward. Although, it looks as though this field might be ready for mowing again. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't actually have a mower at the minute. I actually sold my mower's back. Did I? Yes, I did. So yeah, I don't own a mower at the present moment in time. Because I wasn't impressed with the mower that... The first mower that I got, the John Deere Zero Turn mower, was absolute rubbish. It didn't actually leave grass. It cut the grass, but it didn't actually leave it for you to be able to pick it up and make use of it. it the grass just disappeared after you mowed it. I think that's an error with the mod, so I ended up removing that and getting rid of it. I then went and bought just a plain old regular mower. Um, and I was just like, hmm, yeah, it's a bit of a problem because it ties up a tractor and we only have three tractors. So I really did want a self-propelled mower. Um, so I'm not tying up a tractor when I'm out putting grass. And I believe I've found a solution to that problem, which we may actually go and get. Now we're going to fill up with hay, first of all. Lovely helping. And then we're going to do a, a mixture of TMR. We are. And then we're going to do one, one maybe mixing wagon load of straw. See how we fare on that front. So, uh -huh. first of all, let's put the help menu on. All right, we don't have silage additive or uh, TMR additive or whatever it is, mineral feed. So we're not bothering with any of that nonsense. Ratio. I would have total mix ratio. Bot on. Right, let's go get some more, one load of straw. And then what we might need to do, we might need to have a look at bales, because we might need to actually, seriously, invest in buying a load. <laughs> I think it's hay that we're most short of now. I 
see the straw now starting to fill up the little stalls. Productivity's going up all the time. Excellent. I will leave it there for the time being. Turn off the help window now. And what we'll do is we'll go and have a trip to the store. To have a look at mowers now. Question for it. Or the thing I've got to think about. And it's the, the one thing that's giving me a little bit of concern is that when we come round here, look, our entrance into the field with grass currently is only yay wide. Okay, the grass is not ready to mow again. It looks it because of how long it is, but it's actually only mowable when it gets to that height, which is kind of like, well, chest height on Dolores because she's not very tall. Um, so, <clears throat> looking at the store menu then, don't think there's anything in the second-hand market um, to particularly worry about. Or that's going to be useful for us. Can't afford a forage harvester, so it is going to have to be kind of um, there's the back wing 6.2 meters uh, what did I have originally I had I think it was one of these Kubota ones wasn't it that I went and got one of them it's 4 meters one of them offset drag behind you kind of deals so that would be an improvement. Um, at 6.2 meters. It definitely will fit through the gate. We know that much. And it's only 15 grand. That's quite cheap. Then we've got that. Four and a half meters. I'm going to go out and get. That four and a half meters. Won't fit through the gate. Yeah, four and a half meters will not fit through there. Um, which would make that problematic. So I don't believe I've got an option for a self-propelled mower. Because that thing doesn't cut grass. Or it does, but it doesn't drop it. And it's only two meters. This thing, what I want, unfortunately, the header for it is going to be too big to go through the gate. So it looks like I'm stuck with the bat wing. Problem with that is. Um, problem with that is I'm going to have to get a tractor 
as well, then that suddenly makes that a lot more expensive, doesn't it? I mean, mowers, mowers. That was, I mean, 14 grand for that is not bad. Plus the header. I mean, that was like 30 grand. I'm not going to be able to get a tractor for that sort of money, for less than that. Um, I mean, there's a Massey Ferguson there for 54 grand, half price. That would do the job. There's another one there, a bit larger, that would do the job. Um, little 75 horsepower Z4. Ah. Problem is, that's the one I sold. I sold that one. I think it was that one. Might have been just the ordinary one. Another Z4 there. Only get right. I mean, fifty grand for one of those. One hundred and thirty-six horsepower. It's doable. What's the um thing you're gonna cost me again? The bat wing, fifteen grand. Prize only seventy-five horsepower. Okay. Bit on the big side then. That's probably not a bad option then. Because that'll do the Batwing. And it's only 18 grand. So I could put GPS on that. Narrow skinny tires. And we spend 33 grand. That's a doer. Get my bat wing. We won't bother with the lights. We won't bother with the mulcher. So, done things a little bit differently there. But, we've now got a tractor. Tell you what we'll do while we're here. We will repair that and we will repaint it and spend a fortune. Plus more to repaint than it does to repair it. <gasps> oh no! The world has vanished! Just like that, it's gone. It ain't the fastest tractor in the world, but 
you know what I ought to do when I'm when I'm driving and I'm about to take a screenshot I ought to probably slow down a little bit so that we can all appreciate how you know nice Dolores looks in her brand new shiny uh, tractor of power Yeah, we can definitely mow the grass now. Might have to invest in a, in just a, a plain windrower. I don't think I've got a plain windrower. I think I've got the tedder wind rower. I may have to get a normal wind rower just for making this into nice pretty little channels. my tether windrow in there. a stroke wind rower acquired so yeah wind rower then wind rower wind rower wind rower want anything too massive Maybe a merge max will do. Well, that's 110 grand. I think we'll hold on for the time being on the wind rower front. We will. Well, let's go see how our cedar's getting on. Obviously, next step's going to be buying this field. He's doing all right for himself. We're at 85% contract complete. Okay. Couple more contracts. I'm not interested in any of those. I can't do any of the delivery ones. The old supply and demands. Because we don't have any stuff in storage. Yeah, we'll um, get this contract completed. I will then buy the field. Um, that means we'll have two canola fields. Because that's nine and ten's our field that we put canola on. And then this will be our field, which will have canola on. Um, we will then. Uh, we've got. Barley and wheat to harvest. Um, which is good. Uh, then once that's harvested, that will be made into one big field. And then we can plant something else on that then. All in all, we're going along quite nicely. Like I say, we'll have quite a lot of canola to sell then by the end of this year. Later on in the year, which will be very nice. We will be getting very harvest ready very soon. At 13, we'll probably be mowing in the next episode, ladies and gents. 
putting the new mower to the test in April. Uh, fertilizer wise, 17 has not been fertilized, so we will need to do that. We will need to do it after seeding and we will need to do it when it's in its first growth stage. Okay. Unless, of course, the guy offers us a fertilizing contract after seeding. In which case, we might just hang by <laughs> and delay buying the field for another few minutes so we can get paid to do the fertilising as well. That seems like such a cheeky, cheeky move by me. And people say, oh, that, that, that's borderline. That's the equivalent of field flipping. Getting paid to do all the jobs and then just buy the field once it's been ploughed, seeded, fertilised. The only difference is I'm not going to sell the field back after I've harvested it. No, I'm not going to do that. I am going to keep the field forever and ever and ever. But at the moment, if the guy's going to keep paying me to do jobs on the field, I might as well exploit that for as long as I can. Can't I, really? You know? Make the most of it while it lasts. Yeah, we get this field nice and seeded. Canola is in. So we'll have two canola harvests at the end of the year. Doesn't really help with the whole straw producing aspect of things, does it? Uh, in the grand scheme of things. We can't get canola straw. Um, but what we can do is we'll get straw off our barley field and our wheat fields. So our straw, our, our actual straw collecting will be all right. Our own straw production will be okay. It's just that we're going to need to think about the crops we plant in the future to make sure we keep getting food for the animals. The wheat and barley are going to be okay for the chickens. We're probably going to need to do some more oats. So, potentially field 7 and 8, actually. When that's all been joined together and made into a super field, field 7 and 8 will probably be um, a good candidate for having some oats planted on them. To ensure we meet our horses' demands. So then we're free, pretty much free to pick and choose what we plant on the other fields. And as we gradually acquire a few more, we'll be uh, able to do a bit more variety. But obviously, we don't want to get away from what the core of the series was supposed to be, which is that Dolores wasn't really owning and working her own land. She was supposed to be contracting. But because of the contract system at the minute being broken until we get the next patch from Giant, it makes it very hard to do a contract to play through. So we're kind of having to adjust on the fly on this series and uh, adjust the way we do things a little bit. But anyway, ladies and gents, we have sadly come to the end of today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will be back with more content very soon. But for now from me, ladies and gents, cheerio and goodbye.